so I know that there has been, you know, there's been so much conversation about Cate over the last couple of years um, and that there are lots of incredible people doing really good work to decrease the impact on Cate. But with all that change, what are you as Landsec doing nowadays and how has that changed over the last couple of years with regards to where you do and don't install the Cate fit hands? Yeah, I mean, hugely. I think, you know, in the past, Cat A was almost your starting point, right? It was your mm. default position. You put in the Cat A and then you let tenants come in and do what they want, often with a lot of wastage. Um, but that has fundamentally changed. I mean, again, we, we completed four buildings last year. Uh, one of them was was a, a full pre-let, so kind of a different story. But the other three uh, were done to, to Cat A. And fair to say that going forward, that is absolutely not our starting position anymore. We are, you know... We're not saying we're never going to put Cat A again because there's some occurrences where if you've got a multi-tenanted building of really small floor plates, actually we might go straight to Cat B and do a turnkey solution because mm -hmm. that is what the market, you know, we're seeing once at the moment. But our starting position is absolutely no full Cat A. What we're doing on, on one of our developments is two different buildings. We're putting two show floors in each building mm -hmm. and then the rest of it comes over time. So that mindset has completely shifted um, and it's, you know, it's something that, we're seeing the agents also on board with, which is key. When again, you, you're going into those those leasing discussions, you need the agents on board, and thankfully they are they are on, on board with us when it comes to that reduction of or kind of challenging the assumption that Cat A is the right solution for the product. Mm.